You know, that's a great question. We get asked about what does it take to be in the store and, and does the Windows app SDK change that? And there's kind of two answers to that question. The, the new store, which we announced, well, it feels like forever ago, but it was only actually a couple of weeks ago now, um, will enable, we're really enabling you to bring any type of Windows app to the store, be that uh, obviously a UWP, MSAX, but you can now do a Win32 app or a PWA. So from a Win32 app and the Win app SDK, you could, doesn't matter how you build your application or how you package it, you can bring it to the store. And the Windows app SDK is really there designed to help you build great applications on Windows. No matter how you started or what tech you're using, we want you to be able to bring the Windows app SDK capabilities to your app so you can make it a better app. And of course, bring it to the store, that's awesome. Um, and we'd love you to do that, but you don't have to bring it to the store, you can distribute it from your website. And the great thing about the new store is that if you're distributing from your website, you can list it really easily on the store, not have to change your packaging. Obviously, we'd love it if you use MSAX. That's we think is our best way to install an application. But just by listing that, we'll take it from your existing distribution mechanism from a website and, and do that. So all you have to worry about then is building one application and let the store help you bring customers to your app. Um, then, of course, you can take an MSAX, and that's something which we encourage with Windows App SDK, and you can bring that to the store and we'll actually do all the hosting for you and the distribution and download from that side of things. So no, you don't have to change your app to bring it to the store or use the Windows App SDK.